Please welcome Rabbi Yossi Gordon, Executive Vice President of Chabad on Campus in Jerusalem. here tonight, my dear friend and the Jewish superstar, I like to call him Eliyahu, Eric Fingerhut, <laughs> our Hillel colleagues on campus, around the world, and so many honored guests. I thank you for your hospitable and warm Jewish welcome that I am experiencing here this evening, together with my colleague and friend, Rabbi Avi Weinstein, our Director of Administration at Chabad and Campus International. The Hillel Global Assembly is a magnificent event. Am Yisrael, the Jewish people whom we all care so much for, I'm sure will experience a surge in Jewish engagement as a direct result of this great assembly. I'm sure you're familiar with another great assembly of Jewish history, the Anshei Knesset HaGadola. So much of today, how we live our Jewish lives, is as a result of many of the enactments of the Anshei Knesset HaGdola. It is my hope and prayer that this assembly result in good things and is blessed with success that resonates throughout Am Yisrael in the form of greater Jewish identity and commitment and connection to our beloved Israel. As a measure of our unity, I want to do something that is a bit untraditional, at least for a Chabad rabbi, which is I want to make a fashion statement I'm wearing my uh, very distinct dark suit and my even more distinct black hat and I have my very distinct beard, but there's a part of what I'm wearing that is truly very much a fashion statement for me this evening and I'm going to model it for you. Please allow me. Friends, a Dvar Torah. Next week we're going to begin celebrating Hanukkah. For 2,000 years, Am Yisrael has been kindling a menorah. Every year, more than 2,000 years. And as is our custom, according to the school of Hillel, Hillel of old, we add a light each night. As providers of Jewish life on campus, we have the privilege and the opportunity to kindle the lights the souls of our brethren at a time of their lives when they are becoming who they will end up being for their entire future. We kindle, we kindle more shining lights every year. It is an awesome responsibility and a great privilege, and one that we all agree must grow and grow even more. The needs of Ami Sayyid are great, but together we can make the difference. Together, we are together pulling, pulling the chariot of the, Jewish, of the Jewish people under the banner of Shema Yisrael, Hashem Elokeinu, Hashem Echad, under the banner of our unity. Tonight we can make a commitment, I would like to make a commitment, I make a commitment, that not only should we be strong in the face of our challenges, but we should be strong because of our unity. I feel the energy here, I feel the positive, I feel the holiness of this environment. Hillel of old, Sage, mentioned in the Talmud so many times, had never-ending patience and love for his fellow Jew. His patience is what allowed him to successfully build relationships with people who were downright hostile to him, and I'm going to correct myself, he had patience and kindness for every human being. A credit to Hillel of old's unifying force is that today we follow many of his decisions. In addition, we teach much of his wisdom. A group of college students came to visit the Lubavitcher Rebbe in Brooklyn in 1963. They asked the Rebbe then for his thoughts on the most effective key to spreading Torah among our young people on campus. The Rebbe's answer to them was as follows. 
everyone must do as much as possible in a way that shows certainty and confidence, because confidence is a characteristic of the youth specifically. An older person is often beset with doubts and hesitancies, while the young are sure of themselves. It is this characteristic that we must utilize in spreading Torah and mitzvahs, and everyone must work at 100% capacity. My friends, I am certain that I am correct when I say that none of us are doing this job for the money. We're not in it for the money, we're not in it for the power, we're not in it for the fame. Most of what we do is not well known and never gets celebrated. The student who needs a listening ear, the work late into the night, and then early the next morning, the extra effort that makes the difference in the life of a Jewish student, the extra effort from the dedicated team of professionals at the Hillel headquarters, the Schusterman International Center. I feel it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing that unlike in the fame fatuated world in which we live, sometimes a private, unseen act Goodness is cherished more than a good deed carried out in a big blaze of glory. So during those times when it gets a little bit hot in our own proverbial kitchen, I encourage you to think of the Rebbe's instructions. Cast away any doubt, to act with confidence, cast away all the worries, and proceed forth, not just with confidence, but with joy. This time, friends, I would like to present the gift of the Rebbe's teachings my dear friend, Eric. The Rebbe's passionate love for the Jewish people and his leadership continue to drive and inspire Chabad today. This is a book called Daily Wisdom. Now I believe that Eric possesses enormous wisdom and skill. And I hope this book will further enhance Thank you.